Uh, Alright, so I know exactly what I'm going to do. And that's pretty much it. So before I go and I buy a who? A right back, a centre back, and a centre midfielder. I am just going to go into transfers. And first off, I'll see how much money I actually have. What am I doing? Transfer negotiations, you idiot. Budget allocation. 25 and a half. Yeah, no, it's alright. I probably can't buy a lot of really good players. What I think I might do, because it's a career mode, I, I do enjoy buying really young players and just watching them develop. Like, I've bought a player that's like 70... 72 and he's developed into an 85 and I just thought that is no holy shit I only saw that then okay um I won't sell him because that is just blatant cheating and there is no way surely Santiago Muniz is not worth that much and uh, besides he's only a reserve I haven't let him develop yet I just pretend we didn't see that as for J-Bucks um if I get an offer for him I will probably sell him but then again it depends uh Gavin Harrison Santiago Muniz not selling them at all, not transfer listing them. The only way I will sell any of those two is if I get an offer from them for Real Madrid. And if I do, then they're gone. J Bucks, I won't sell uh, unless I get a really good offer. And now I'm just going to go ahead and sell a bunch of these guys because he's loaned out. Because I really do not need them. And just give me a little bit of a Kickstarter. This guy's gone. Inman's gone. Richardson, you can go. Dummett, you can go. Henderson, you can go. And now let's just move along and see if we can find some players which I'm not going to need, which can probably get me a bit more coin. Best I won't need. Uh, three. I'm going to find a replacement for him anyway. And who else? Perch. I might... Uh, now nah, I'll get rid of Perch. And Marbo I'm definitely not going to need anyway. And who else? I might find one more person if there's one available. Hammy... No, I'm not. Just as a... Just as a Newcastle fan, my love for Shola, I'm not doing it, but I will sell Logan Krantz. Fuck off. <laughs> okay, how many players have I got transfer listed? Holy shit. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 players. How many have I got? Actually, 41. So, well, I'm going to have to sell some of these guys if I want to bring in anybody anyway. So, ugh, I'm not going to miss them, really. Okay. We're just, they're gone immediately, just sell them. And now let's go and have a look for a couple of, uh, we'll go looking for a centre back first. Uh, I might, uh, I, no, no, no. I'm not even going to search for a, for just anyone in particular. I already know who I'm going to get. If any of you guys have watched career modes in the past, how do I spell his name without saying it out loud? Yeah, okay, I'll just say it out loud. It's Ogbana. Or however you pronounce it, but he's the black Italian. No, not Balotelli. He is. That's not how you spell his name. I know, but whatever. Uh, it might be, but he is absolutely amazing. I I get him all the time whenever I do career mode. He is just phenomenal, and he grows like a. Ma oh, I know I spelled his name wrong. And a sec, mate. Just give me a second. <laughs> I'll just go OGB and a centre back. Hopefully, it picks up what I'm trying to say. Anyway, yeah. I'm sure, I don't even know if you guys are picking up what I'm trying to say, because I'm just, again, worst live commentator of all time. But, uh, yeah, if, um, let me see. Ogbana is really, really good, because he starts off, there we go, at 75. He's 23 years of age, and he costs a lot. As a matter of fact, I would normally offer about 13 and a half million for him, but the last time I did, they shut me down and said, nah, we want 20 for him. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to offer 10 and a half, and obviously that's not going to be enough to buy him. If it is, then holy shit. But um, yeah, and pretty much they'll come back to me and say, no, 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 we want more. And then they'll give me an offer, which is going to be considerably less than 20 million than if I had offered 13 and a half. So yeah, we'll get that out of the way. We're going to look for who? Uh, a right backer now. And I have no idea. I have nobody in mind. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go to overall, minimum of 75. And we'll go uh, acceleration sprint. I guess, I guess, really, um, it doesn't matter with sprint speed for a for a centre backer, but for um, you know, for uh, wing for your back wingers or for your right backs or your left backs, you would want them to be relatively quickly. Like a bar, like a Abiati is for Milan a really good player. I don't know if he's a left back or a right back, but yeah, there he is. He's a right back. How much? Uh, that's a fair bit. Let's just have a look here and go for a couple of good players. Van der, Van der Wills possibly. I might go with him. Yeah, maybe. Conco. Kai Walker. Nah. I want to get someone that's relatively young as well. Christian. No. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, 20. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. This is where it gets really, really crap. And I just talk about... 
uh, dead space. That's pretty much what I'm trying to say. Anyway, uh, Richards maybe. Van der Wille is probably interesting me at a lot. I'll just go ahead and chuck him on my uh, on my radar. Uh, uh, Aviardi is possibly a good opportunity. Cicinho, no. Perez, no. Jonathan, no. Uh, actually, Jonathan, he's oh, if I am correct, he is uh, into Milan, and he think I think he's been loaned. I don't know for sure though. Um, I definitely want a good play. Glenn Johnson, no, nah, probably not. He's a bit too expensive for guys that I want to buy later on. Uh, what's his name? Twenty? No, he's twenty-six. Okay, well, we we've pretty much gone way too far to the point where players are actually going to develop. I might actually get uh, Van der Wiel. Um, yeah, it's first level. This is what I'll do again. I'm just going to do this the whole time. I know I'm not going to get him for twelve and a half, but I just offer them that uh, price anyway. And, because I don't really have a lot of money on me at the moment, or enough for another player to put another bid on for another player, I might just let it roll now. And we are finally off the first day. It's episode two, and we're off the first day already. It's unbelievable. Okay. Uh, Domestic Cup reached the final. No worries. League objective. Qualify for the Euro League. And the transfer market is now open. Oh, that's one thing I haven't done yet. Um, buy players. Uh, free agents. I always do this. Uh, it's just a little bit of a hobby. or well, Not a hobby, but just something I always do. Uh, and there's normally some okay people in there, but not, obviously not this time. This guy, 77, just John Smith. I mean, he's he's the goal, he's the um, default goalkeeper in the arena. But nah, there's no one, no one really good here. Can I pick up anyone for like a million? Mm, nah, forget about it. This It's a lost cause. All right, we're just going to let it rock. Oh, Jesus. Okay, just going to let it roll and wait to see if um, yeah, we get any offers, which surely we will with 13 players listed on the transfer market. Uh, and I, I will take this opportunity to say that uh, rejected, just flat out rejected. All right, well, f screw you then. Uh, I might offer 14. There we go. I'm going to take this opportunity to say that I think I'm doing a little bit better than what I thought I would be. Leave in the comment section below if uh, I am, or if I'm not, or if I need to pick up, just tell me ways to improve. Oh, he rejected as well, just flat out. Just, uh, <laughs> this is what I'm talking about, Dead Space. What did I say? I thought I'd be doing a lot better than what I thought I was. Nope. Anyway, I might offer that 13 and a half million, and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Hopefully, it doesn't come out to bite me in the ass. Richardson, I don't even care if his name's not, his number's not even there. I don't even mind. I normally get offers for the. Uh, with the, some of my younger players, which only cost less than half a million, um, I normally get offers which are probably about a hundred thousand less than what their actual value is. I accept them anyway because, again, won't need them. Offer unacceptable. Nineteen million. You are kidding me. Oh, this is what I hate. Oh, is he really worth nineteen million? No, he's not. This is what I'm going to do. And a sec, right after I best four eight, and how much is he? I won't say no to that. Uh, hopefully, we'll get another offer on him, but. Uh, we'll go to buy players, look for another right back, and this time just 75, nothing in particular, and just look for a max wage of 15, because the money that I would have been able to pick up for Vanderwill for 19 million, Jesus, um, I should be able to pick up an 80 plus for around about the same. Well, obviously I should be, but let's have a look. And there's not a lot of them. Abeloa, Glenn Johnson. I might actually go with Glenn Johnson now that I think about it. He's only 26. He's got nice. He's actually got a lot better uh, pace on him than what I thought. Uh, Pereira. I immediately thought of Douchebag when I saw his last name. I don't know why. It's, what do you mean I don't know why? Just look at his name. Uh, Basingua. Oh, is not actually as quick as um, uh, Pereira, Johnson, Abeloa, Licksteiner. Nick Steiner. Uh, and you love. I've never really heard of him before. Or oh, Nick Steiner. Hablo, of course, but he's a little bit older. Uh, uh, nah, he's not worth the money, I'd say. I'm going to go with Glenn Johnson. I'm going to put him in offer. What, 19 million is how much I got offered. I was told to put in for him, so. 19 million. That only, is, uh, only leaves me with about 6.5 million, so that's not great. Um, oh well. But Van der Wiel's gone. We're not going to get him. No way. Um, not for 19 million, that is, anyway. Uh, okay, moving on. Hopefully, we'll grab another offer on a couple of our younger players. We've got, oh, we've got a couple here. Unacceptable. 17 million for how much? Oh. Yeah, I better get an offer for on a really good player. I better get that re-offer on best if I'm going to afford these guys because I need, what, 
Another over 10 million for this bloke. Okay. That's, I might have to hold off on one of these guys. Oh, good. Retransfer, 6 million. How much is he worth? That's more than what we did before. Yes. Perch. Yes. Okay. I still don't think that leaves me with enough. I should be able to change the wage budget, though, and hopefully get a little bit more. Yep. Richardson has been sold. And just let it roll. And this is what I'm talking about. I'm running out of things to talk about. I'm actually talking about the things... I'm actually talking about the fact that I'm running out of things to talk about. Liverpool accepted for 19 million. Good. No, uh, no bullshit. I'll just go 120. Now, this is one thing I always do. Clean sheet bonus or just scoring bonus. I always take it to 20 because literally... Do you actually get ducted more money? You don't... I don't think you actually lose money for it. At least I've never seen it. Or... And if I have never seen it and something's actually happening, obviously it's insignificant because... If I never notice it, then obviously it's not important. So I always go 20%, and that increases your chances of getting him and getting him for a lesser wage by so much more. I'm still going to offer 120 because I've got tons of money in the wage. But yeah, 120,000, five uh, five year contract. James Perch has been sold. I uh, still haven't sold best yet. We'll just let this keep going. Uh, hopefully, we'll sell him relatively quickly, and we might be able to get the two of them. Uh, at the same at the same time. See now, this is why I love this guy as well. He's got such cheap wage. It's fantastic. Five years, twenty percent. Uh, again, put it in the comment section if there's actually a reason behind, or if something actually does happen. If you give them a percentage of if they get a clean sheet or if they score, if something actually happens, because I've never even seen it.